Welcome to this video tutorial on the Deer Production Scheduler. Deer Production Scheduler visualizes production order information, sales orders containing goods to be produced, and resource capacity in the form of an interactive Gantt chart. The main goal of this module is to provide full transparency of your production schedule, enabling you to ensure finished goods are produced on time by forecasting any potential delays. We also want to ensure that you can easily see what needs to be produced and when it can be best completed, whilst also enabling you to adapt to changing conditions and reschedule productions as needed. One of the core abilities of the scheduler is to reschedule production orders, production runs, and operations. To access the scheduler, navigate to Production Module and Scheduler. The scheduler contains the following four views – Planning, Production, Sales, and Resources. First, let's have a look at the Planning tab, which includes the production orders in planned and release statuses. Select one or more orders using Shift plus click or Control plus click, and select Release Orders to move them from planned status to released. You can also double click an order to open the release confirmation window. You will be able to change the release date when releasing an order, however, orders in this view cannot be dragged and dropped to reschedule. Releasing a production order from the planning view will automatically create one production run for the entire quantity of the order. Next, let's move on to the production tab, which includes the production orders in released status. To the left of the screen, the production order number is listed with the finished goods SKU and the progress percentage of the order. Hovering over any production order line will show a pop-up window displaying extra information for that order, including problems such as lack of resource capacity. Click the production order name to be taken to that production task. Each production order line is expandable, which you can do so by clicking the arrow to the left of any line in the scheduler. The first level is the production order number, which simply lists each released production order. The second level is the production run number, which lists all production runs that are within the production order. The third and final level are operations, which lists the individual operations in the sequence for the production run, with light shaded areas of the bar indicating non-working hours. The resource view can be toggled on or off in the production view. Resources in green are within capacity, resources in yellow are allocated at capacity, and resources in red are over allocated for that day. The scheduler settings and filters can be configured at the top of the scheduler screen, noting that not all filters are available for each view. Production orders can be viewed for one shop location at a time by selecting it from the drop down list. Layout settings can be accessed by clicking the gear icon at the top right of the screen. This drop down field allows you to change the layout and visuals of the scheduler grid. This setting is available for all scheduler views. This includes Collapse All to collapse all lines to their top level, Expand All to display all of the runs and operations within the production orders, Horizontal Lines for disabling horizontal lines on the grid, Vertical Lines for disabling vertical lines on the grid, Dependencies for hiding the dependencies of operations, Show Completed for hiding or showing completed orders, Show Weekends for showing weekend days in grey. Show Resources for showing the resource table. And View, whereby the Gantt chart can be displayed in hours, days or weeks, with each cell representing either one hour, one day or one week. You can use scheduler filters to filter which results show in the scheduler view. Multiple filters can be applied at once. Dates allow you to choose the time frame for the scheduler view. Buffer allows the filtering by the remaining manufacturing buffer for an order. The manufacturing buffer is set in a percentage term to define how much production time is needed as a buffer. Each delay causes a reduction in the total buffer percentage. There are three manufacturing buffer zones. Green is a safe zone, which means there is plenty of time to complete the production order. Yellow is a warning zone, which means there is time to complete the production order, but the production should not be delayed any further. Red is an urgent zone, which means the production order can't be delayed anymore and should be processed urgently. Additionally, you can filter by work centers and resource. 
The scheduler also allows you to reschedule production order, runs, and operations. This is done via the editing mode, which can be opened by clicking Edit Mode in the top right of the scheduler screen. Note, it is not possible to edit the schedule if it is being edited by any other user. Also, the edit mode is only available for the production order view of the scheduler. You can click on the full screen mode icon on the top right for better visibility. The orders displayed in the scheduler can be rescheduled by dragging and dropping the production order, production runs, and operations. Any movement of a scheduled object causes changes throughout the production module. Please note that the production order, run, or operation cannot be moved to a date earlier than the current date. Dragging and dropping any order, run, or operation means rescheduling and replanning of components and resource capacity. Be sure to save your changes. Next, let's look at the Resource tab, which includes all of the allocated resources involved in the production orders. Each resource line is expandable. The first level is the resource name, which lists all resources set up in the production settings. Dark shaded sections indicate the resources being used. Light shaded sections indicate a resource is not being used. The second level is operations, which lists the operations where the resource is being utilized. The production order number or the operation and its cycle time are listed to the left. Dark shaded sections indicate working hours, and light shaded sections indicate non-working hours. This resource tab also enables layout customization and filtering as we saw earlier. Finally, let's move on to the sales tab, which includes sales with finished goods currently in production. Each sales order line is expandable. The first level is the sales order number, which lists the sales orders that contain one or more finished goods. The second level is the production order number, which lists all production orders that have been created to address the sales order demand. This sales tab also enables layout customization and filtering, as we saw previously. That concludes this video tutorial on the Deer Production Scheduler.